Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. So guys, let's take a look at the gold market right now. Um, the gold market was really dramatic action in the last week. So as you can see, gold market recently since the starting of the December is very fast uh, changing the directions. It's two days up, it's dropped down back to the slows again, attempt to continue move high and drop. Here just market has moved to the upside and shows some give some hopes to the bulls that market probably will continue to move higher and then later it has dropped significantly. So mostly erased all upward action until two weeks ago. So you can see it's very dramatic and nervous action in the market. Still, a uh, major conclusion that we are coming to is that uh, gold market still keeps chances on upward action. So uh, on the daily chart, as you can see, the major indicator indicator here is our 1085 area. So while market stands above it and, and keeps uh, and, and, and coiling around it, it keeps chance on the further upward continuation. If market will drop below the 1072 area, that will probably mean that uh, bears will take the control of the market. So for the bears, it hasn't nothing has changed since the last week. So they still continue to monitor for the 1072 area. As, as, as soon as market will appear below this level, they could start think where to take the short and how far market could drop. By, 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 but uh, until market stands above this area and above, especially above the 1085, it's not the time for the bearish context yet. And the chance on our prediction still exists. So what we have particularly right now? Uh, first of all, we have the bullish grabber, guys, that has been formed on Thursday. We have discussed this month. Let's take a look. Here is we have the bullish grabber that suggests the taking out of this top at minimum. Last session, was Friday, was almost inside session to the Thursday. And take a look, market has not reached the previous lows. So the grabber is still valid. Also, guys, uh, I don't know, remember you or not, but when we have discussed this, just the appearing of this double report, this moment that has happened in one of our December researches, and we are uh, discussing how far market could uh, move based on this double repo pattern. We said that uh, if upward action will happen, here we have the our so our bond right at the FIP support, and probably after that market will show some retracement. And one of our targets that we have discussed was this border of the pin and pattern. On that moment, we said. That well, it's a bit looks a bit too deep, but probably it's not very will be a very good sign if market will drop here, because that will be almost the action on the edge, where market just could move slightly lower and erase all this bullish context. That's why it seems that it's a bit too far retracement, and it will be pre preferable if market will stop in 1085 and turn to the upside. That's what we have said when we are discussing this double ripple. But take a look, guys. In reality, what really has happened? Market indeed has retested the lower border, the upper border of this band and page. This could explain why market has dropped significantly. And uh, this could be really deep for some other markets, but that's just how the gold works, just how gold market moves. It likes to retest broken, important broken lines, bottoms, and tops. So that's why. Taking in, in, in the consideration this moment, and by taking a look from that point of view on this retracement down the 1072, it just confirms the idea that probably nothing has lost yet for a bulls, and market really could continue move higher. That's very important moment for us. Now, so uh, currently we will not speak on the bearish scenario because we just uh, decided that. Uh, uh, only below the 1072 area, we will start to think about the taking to short position. Until this will not happen, bears just will wait when this will happen. And you have, if you have the bearish review, you could ignore the all other moments that we will say right now. And the other 
time frames in the four hour time frame chart and hourly chart. Uh, if you have the bullish view or your scalp trader, you could try to, and you would like to take the long position here and try to tend to make some probable profit on this action if this really will happen. Then you could listen what will happen next. So on the four hour time frame chart, guys, what we have? Some other moments appears. So uh, after market has completed this ABCD1618 target, it starts to form the ABC retracement down. And uh, on two last uh, sessions on the previous week, what we have, market has dropped right to the 1618 target. In fact, we have anticipated it because market already was below the 100% extension. And said it's really high probability that market will drop lower. So it has hit the major support area. That was the weekly pivot support one last week. 1618 extension of this ABCD pattern and major 618 support from the bottom, from this low. This very important area. That's particularly, guys, our invalidation point, as you understand. So we have two another bullish signs, except this strong support. First of all, take a look that we have the bullish divergence on the 4-hour time frame chart right at the major FIB support area. And it assumes possible upward continuation. This first moment. Second moment. When we have discussed here on Thursday, spot probable entry to the long side, we said market should show at least another leg up. And when it has dropped, we said, well, we will not speak on the bullish scenario until market will not form the reversal swing to the upside. And take a look, that has happened right on Friday. Market has completed the upper upside reversal swing. So you can see that swing to the upside is greater than the previous swing down. And what conclusion we could make after that. So take a look that this could lead us guys to the appearing of the reverse head and shoulders pattern. That could be the left shoulder, this could be the head, and that could be the right shoulder. So as market has erased not just a reversal swing, it, it, it has formed not just a reversal swing, but take a look, it has erased significant plunge down and market opens opens on the high, drop right, right down, close to the bottom, and this really nasty candle has been erased on Friday action. This is very bullish. That's another reason why we think that chances still exist on the further upward continuation. So here we will be mo we will monitor for the possible reverse head and shoulders pressure. And uh, as a result, how we could play this combination. So on the hourly chart, guys, this has, this leads us to conclusion that we're mostly interesting only with this rally. We do not need any other swings on the Four hour time frame chart on the daily chart. Why? Because that, in fact, invalidation point of the bullish scenario. If market will drop lower, it will erase this head and shoulders. It will erase bullish grabber. It will drop below the major support area. So it will erase all bullish context. That's why we interest, we are interested only with this resting swing. This also gets, by the way, the bottom of the head in this picture. Now, if we will, um, talk on the possible retracement target. So uh, we think that the 1081 is the most attractive point by two reasons. First reason is because if we are falling to the head and shoulders, market should keep the harmony of this pattern. And theoretically, it could show the same retracement down, 618, to match the bottoms of the shoulders. Second reason is the reversal swing. When the market forms a reversal swing, in the most cases, it shows deep retracement. Sometimes it's a BCD retracement, sometimes it's just deep retracement here. Uh, but the chance on the deep retracement is significant. But here's some tricky moment that on the way down, we have the weekly pivot point and we have the confidence support around 86 area. How we could manage the possible entering long here? Right? Some scenarios exist, how you could do this. The most simple scenario is just wait, just do nothing as we said and wait 1081. This is most simple way to act. Second simple way to act is trying to take the, for example, 20, 30 percent of your position at the confidence. Just if market will turn up immediately, you will have at least some position. And if market will drop lower, add the rest of your position here. This is the second simple way. Now, we speak on some advanced moments, how you could manage the entry point. As market will come to confluence, you could take the whole position here with the stop somewhere slightly below the confluence. Or it better just to 
keep an eye on the position and monitor it. This is advanced approach, so it's not suitable for everybody. Uh, you need to get some experience to do this. Um, but so this is just a question of practice, guys. If you, if you will not practice, you will not get the experience. This is just the obvious thing. So, for example, we have taken the long here. At the first response of the market on this confluence, the technical response, not necessarily that market will turn up, but it could be just technical minor bounce. For example, as here, reaction on the weekly pivot point. Right? You should move your stop to the break even immediately. If market will drop lower, in this case, you will exit from your position initial for free with no loss and just will take another position here. If market will start move up, well, you already will have the position. Another way, another scenario, what really could happen, for example, if you have taken the short, uh, taken long position here, but market uh, doesn't show any response and just dropping lower. In this case, you should try to exit from this position on a minor retracement to the upside. For example, market stop here somewhere, some rally, and shows the upper retracement here. If this will happen, you should close your position with the minimal loss or even break even point. And wait again for this reaching of this area. So right now we're discussing possibility how we could enter in the long position. So if you do not want to make a deal with all this stuff, just ignore it and wait for the 1081. In the current circumstances, guys, I think that's will be most acceptable solution. This is just scenarios for those who would like to try something else. Well, of course, we do not want to get such short of action here. So if you will see the dropping right, right now here with a nasty black candle, it's not the way where we would like to take the long position. We need to some gradual action. Something of that sort maybe. It should be not very steep. It should be some flat and smooth action now. So, and let's see what will happen. Because currently, guys, it seems that uh, gold still keeps chance on upward continuation.